Do you want to know how to build a sand casting flask? Probably. You typed into YouTube, how do I build a sand casting flask? Well, you came to the right video because that's what I'm going to do today. Now the sand casting flask comes with the top called the cope and the bottom called the drag. And then you want a system for making sure that they line up properly and this, each time. And I threw a couple extras on there, some hardware on the front and some handles on the side. Okay, first thing we need to do is cut our boards to length. Now my flask is going to be 12 by 16 inches and so I'm going to cut four boards, 12 inches, and I'm going to cut four boards, 17 and a half inches. The reason it's 17 and a half is because I'm using butt joints and my wood that I'm using is um, three quarter inch thick. Okay, next I set the router up with a quarter inch straight bit so that I could cut grooves in all the boards here and it's just going to give the sand a little extra something to latch onto. So let's go ahead and do that for all the boards. Okay, I was just going to nail the box together or screw it, but then I decided if I, I might be using this quite a bit and it would probably be better if I glued it. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and glue it all together and nail it. So it'll be a little bit sturdier because you don't want it to start to get out of uh, line. That'll cause you some problems later. So I'm going to glue it and nail it. Okay, just apply some glue here. Okay, after I applied the glue and then put in some brad nails, I went ahead and clamped it down and I'm going to leave it to set for a few hours before I start the next process.
Okay, now here I do the same process, applying the glue and then inserting brad nails. I'll clamp it down, same as the other one, and let it set for a while. And again, I'm not um, sure if I really, if doing the gluing and the brad nailing together is overkill. Uh, but what I thought was is that I am going to be using it for a long time, and I don't want it to start to uh, wiggle loose during um, during the process. So hopefully the glue and the brad nails together will um, make this last the whole summer. Okay, here we are after it's all dried up, and I also went ahead and put some hardware on there. You can probably see that, but I put um, handles on both, and I put a little latch on the front and the back here. So um, I just, the, the hardware is really optional. Um, I don't see that on most people's when they put it on, but I just thought it'd be nice to have some handles to help carry it around, and the latches just to help secure it a little bit you know once it's done then you know it's kind of latched together there um, but the most important part that we're going to do now that isn't optional you actually do need to do this is we need to make it so that the cope and the drag line up perfectly when you put them together each time so that the mold um, that you're casting is lined up so to do that there's a few different ways to go about it but the way that I'm going to use is I'm going to on the corner on two corners of the box I'm going to put these boards on the corner here line them up get the box lined up nail that on there and then I I have some here on the other side I'm gonna line up on the back corner here the diagonal and I'm gonna nail that on there so then what it'll look like I'll, I'll show you after it's done as well but then what it'll look like is you know something like this and each time you put it on those corners have to line up perfectly you put them down and uh, you should be good to go so let's go ahead and do that and that's the last step All done, ready to go, and here's the quick closing tutorial of it. Um, there's the boards we put on the edges to line it up. So just line we have the cope and the drag, two sides here. Oh, and I also went ahead and built these extra little slats so that you can put it on top of it. And that way when you're flipping it around, um, you can maybe keep the sand from falling out, having an accident and falling out. So that might come in useful. I saw that on somebody else's video as well. Um, and I numbered these corners so that you can make sure and get it lined up properly each time. And line it up, latch it together, and you're ready to go. Also, I made some rammers as well. I have three different ones. I made them 10 inches long, that way, um, when you're ramming down here you don't smash your finger you want it long enough so that you're not you know going to ram and you pinch your finger on the edge so i made these 10 inches i got one that's just a round dowel another that has a bit of a point on it so i can get into the edges and crevices and then another one that just has just square but a little bit more surface area uh to pack down anyway that's it and i'll give you a close-up of everything here at the end but if you watch thanks for watching and I'm looking forward to doing some sand casting videos in the near future thanks guys see ya